Laura and Asia with Ecoistas and Halloween is right around the corner. There are plenty of ways to have a fun holiday while continuing your eco-friendly lifestyle. So here are our top 10 eco-friendly Halloween tips for you that not only are eco-friendly but they will absolutely save you guys some money this Halloween. So yeah. let's go! <laughs> Tip number one. Check your local thrift store for DIY costumes instead of buying something you'll only use once. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find plenty of really cute ideas. Yeah, and if you guys don't find anything you like in the thrift store, friend swap costumes, that's what we did. This is actually Laura's shirt, and then I found this and these at a thrift store. And I swapped this costume with a friend from last year. Oh, uh, which by the way, she's Princess Leia, if you guys didn't. <laughs> no, 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 Princess Amidala. Oh, isn't that the same thing? Close, but no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no one knows. Pew, pew. Tip number two. If you're planning to wear face makeup or dye your hair, check the labels first and make sure that the ingredients are toxic and chemical free. That's right. About half of all Halloween makeup contains toxic metals, which could be carcinogenic. Yeah, that's gross. really gross. But we are actually, we have Halloween makeup on, but this is beauty products that are chemical free that we use every day we just applied a lot more on. Yeah, they're already in our makeup <laughs> bags and they're all natural. Yeah, so, so you can it can save, be done. Save your money and let's not put that gross stuff on our face this year. Tip number three. Use all natural decorations like pumpkins and gourds instead of putting paper streamers and plastic decorations around your house. Pumpkins and gourds can also be composted so you don't have to toss them or throw them away. Plus they look better anyways. Oh, totally. Did you carve a killer pumpkin this year? Don't throw away the pumpkin meat and seeds. Instead, use every part of this holiday staple by taking the seeds and cooking them for a delicious treat. Yeah, and you can also use the meat from the pumpkin to make a really yummy meal or a beauty product like our Funkin' Pumpkin Donuts mm -hmm. or a pumpkin moisturizing masks, which we're gonna put on our website in two weeks. So you can use every part of the pumpkin. Speaking of pumpkins, if you want to light your walkway with candles or maybe put a candle in one of your carved pumpkins for party decor, be sure to use natural soy wax candles. Yeah, these guys are clean burning, non-toxic, they burn longer than normal <laughs> candles, and they're biodegradable. Why wouldn't you use them? Sounds perfect. <laughs> Tip number six, if you're handing out candy to trick-or-treaters, hand out things like granola bars, dried fruit, or head over to your local farmer's market the week before and pick up some locally made candies. And doing that, you are not only supporting your local community, but you're giving those trick-or-treaters of yours healthier options. Yes, their parents will appreciate it. Tip number seven, are you planning on going trick-or-treating yourself? Well, instead of buying a Halloween-inspired plastic candy bag, Go ahead and use a tote or a canvas bag that you already have. Planning a spooky Halloween bash this year? It might seem easier to use plastic or paper dishware, but go ahead and use your own instead. Tip number nine, if you're planning to attend a Halloween bash, cut your carbon footprint down and carpool or take public trans. And for our final tip, the week after Halloween, donate your costume to a local school or theater group. Yeah. I promise you they will appreciate it. Totally. Those are just a few tips we have to green up your Hallow's Eve this year. Let us know what you think of our tips or if you'd like to share any tips you have of your own. This has been Laura and Asia with Ecoistas. Have a fun and safe Halloween. Bye!